So the next thing we're going to talk about is <clears throat> something that we want to incorporate into your pre-shot routine um, that's, that's going to that's gonna even further kind of help uh, this process. So uh, we need to start kind of talking about mental uh, uh, mental preparation and and kind of visualizing what you want to have happen in your pre-shot routine before you take before you take the shot, right? Because we're just stepping up to the ball. We're not we're not focused. We're not ready. You know, the probability of you getting the outcome you want is going to be much lower, right? So, so what we want to do is, so if the issue, uh, the, again, the issue you're having is, uh, you know, the the pull hook, right? So, what we want to incorporate into the pre-shot routine, right? So, if we come back here, before we're before we're actually uh, hitting the shot, we're back here, and what we're doing back here, and you see a lot of the professional players doing this, um, is. Uh, I don't know if you ever watched the. There's a guy named Dante Janata. He, he does he does this he does this really well. Yeah. Um, but there's uh, what you want to do is you stand stand back behind the ball, right? And we're, uh, we're we want to visualize what's going to happen before it actually happens, right? So um, we're we're getting a picture in our mind. So if we want the ball to start to the right of the target, right? So if that flags our target, we want the ball to start to the right of the target. And come back to the left. Um, we want to visualize that happening right before we step up to the ball. So pick your target line. All right. So we got our our, our target, and then we pick the line we want to we want to set up on. And go ahead and stand over here for me. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to practice. So if we want to hit that draw, we, we have what it looks like, what we want it to look like in our mind. And then what we're going to do back here is now we're we're matching a feel to the picture, right? So if we know that this is if this is what we want. The, the ball to do now that that's visualized and imprinted in our mind we have to figure out how does that feel right what's the feeling of that club coming shallow like we talked about <clears throat> out to the right with the proper amount of club face closure uh, through, the, through the ball so so take take a take a second just kind of practice that take a you know a deep breath kind of relax visualize that ball going right to left around that uh, that checkered flag there, right? Match the feel of the path and the hands and the follow through. And then when you feel like you're ready, step up to the ball, the brain shuts off and you just execute. Pretty good.